What I got here today is a K's ceiling fan. I believe the model name is called The Hook. As in H-O-O-K-E, like the name. And this is my parents' room in my relative's house in the Philippines. And basically we've had this room since before it was born. This house was built in 97 and there were originally no ceiling fans in any of the bedrooms except for one, which was originally not air conditioned. But they later added an air conditioner in. Like recently, recently the, the stand fan that used to be in this room, I actually did not make a video of that. I should have maybe, but I just didn't get to doing it. Anyway, this, the stand fan in this room broke, so we decided might as why, why not finally get a ceiling fan for this room after all these years. So yeah, this fan is basically a, a Westinghouse Comet knockoff. I believe it's also a different OEM. So yeah, and also this fan got plywood blade as opposed to MDF. So that's. It's actually one of the reasons why I, I really wanted this fan because MDF blades might droop over time because this room doesn't actually get a lot of use. Which is why we put off putting a ceiling fan in this room for a while because, you know, it, don't, it only really gets used a few times a year. But if you wanted, if we were to get a ceiling fan for this room, it would need to be something that would not droop over time. Anyways. I'm actually going to turn off this AC because it's kind of loud in the background. Here is low speed. Yeah, I really wanted to get something that did not have MDF blades. Or even like, there, there are some fans with MDF blades that aren't, you know, that, aren't, that don't droop a lot, but there's also fans that have MDF blades with, that have a really strong reputation for drooping. Namely, you know, in the Philippines, that would be stuff like Westinghouse swirls and even even Contemporas droop, I think. Even though they're smaller. But yeah. Hopefully, there's something they fixed. Is the top. Okay, this is actually going to be a take two because I inputted the area wrong, the area of the circle. I inputted the radius instead of the um, area. We've all been there. So yeah, about 500 CFM. Alrighty. Thousand CFM. It's kind of tricky measuring see if I'm on low speed. And my my neck already hurts because like I already cycled through the speeds once before I realized I made a mistake measuring CFM. Here is medium. Anyways, if it, if it didn't say this last time, if I forgot, if I... If I didn't say this before in the bit that I m messed up the CFM test, um, I wanted a fan in this room that had blades that wouldn't droop. So things like Westinghouse swirls and contemporaries, which have a, have a reputation for drooping, would not be a good choice. I mean, there's a good chance Westinghouse has fixed that design flaw, but I didn't want to risk it. Also, also this is the fan that my parents liked, so that also, that also obviously mattered. This is a bit of 
top shot if I didn't do it yet. Here's high speed. This fan, <coughs> this fan also is hanging from a down rod. I prefer, I'd preferably close mounted because just to follow IEC rules, but there wasn't anything in the manual for close mounting. Even though it does appear to have a close mount system on here, I just thought the risk of close mounting a fan that did not have instructions for it is higher than, you know, the risk of someone sticking their hands in here. Especially since everyone in this house is like, I don't think there's anyone in this house who is about five foot six. So yeah. It's, there is a chance that, you know, the close mount handle hardware might have not passed a certain test, which is why they did not include it in the manual. Pushing 6,000 CFM according to this test, but you know, keep in mind that these vein and monitor tests typically yield a higher CFM rating than like you know, Energy Star or US Doe tests. Does anyone, does anyone say Doe instead of DOE? I don't know. But Anyways, here's spin down. Originally there was a big flush mount light here. It's like a it's like the a bowl shaped light almost with a nut in the middle. <clears throat> so yeah. I'm pretty pleased with this fan. It's obviously not, you know, a Hunter original or something like that, but, you know, it's good for what it is. My parents kind of have a preference for modern fans. So even though this room is kind of... older looking, more traditional looking, they still wanted something that's slightly modern. But... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, seem out of place in here. I think the kind of velvet wood blades kind of make it look more classy. The top bit is like a very modern dark finish. That would look good in a lot of more modern, modern spaces. Yeah, I always like, you know, Westinghouse comets, and in this case, you know, their spin-offs, you know, they're modern without being... They're modern, but still kind of classy looking. I always like that. Anyways, let's fire up in reverse. This is much of the high startup.
that that sound you hear, that whipping sound, is the weights attached to attached to one of the blades. Medium reverse. Finally, low reverse. There's the motor, by the way. It's a 153 motor. And finally, I'll just show you a bit around the fan. So here's the motor. I might want to dust that a bit later. I those who I showed the motor in more detail in an unboxing video, but anyways, here's the blade. You can see what the meat is above the floor, which they are not. Sag. And here is here are all the weights that I've added to one of the blades. As you can see, it is I think these are the original weight that came with the fan, and two of the weights that came with a Westinghouse servo swirl that we installed all of the day. Because this blade is really in, not in alignment, and it was wobbling really bad so if you wanted the fan to actually stay on the ceiling I thought I should really balance it so the thing that I wanted to show was like I noticed interestingly there's in most bedrooms here I think all of them there's two switches which I initially thought you know maybe they originally planned on having ceiling fans in all the bedrooms but they changed their mind although when they were installing this fan I noticed that like there were only two wires here coming out of the ceiling. So I don't know, maybe they were just out of single switches. And yeah, these are old style golden national switch blades for anyone who might find that cool. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.